Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a augmented version of Contel and Contel regression, which is more robust uh, and, and, and valid for the case of time series data, which is long enough to, to have non-stationary effect. So what, what I will do is that we will run the Contel Contel and it will make sure that uh, it can handle non-stationary variables. So if you want to uh, if you want to understand contal and contal regression in Stata, you can visit our video which was developed uh, recently and and you can see that the, its name is estimating contal and contal model in Stata. So the website link is also shown above. Now in this video, what we are going to do is that it will fill the gap in the literature that previously the people who use Contel and Contel using R or MATLAB or even Stata might have used simple Contel regression while the variables are non-stationary. So what this video is going to do, it will use the Contel ARDL equation and generate the long run Contel and Contel effects which are robust to water correlation. So let's start with the video. So first of all, I will load the data and declare it as time series generate the the contal variables and the lags and first differences and then run the overall contal regression so you can see it here that it, it has negative adjustment coefficient and it has an insignificant uh, long run effect long run variable so currently it has this is the ecm based ardl equation now we will run similar thing in in the loop so we will generate the empty folder and then run loop for uh, generate folder, generate the coefficients name for long run effect, uh, long run adjustment, variable coefficient and adjustment variable coefficient, and then loop for independent variable, loop for dependent variable, uh, and then contel regress, ARDL regression, and then filter if, it, if condition to generate it, uh, generate contel and contel then store the variables display so that you can see if the loop is working store uh, the temporary variables into permanent variables and close the loop so when we run it you will see it will run the ardl contel ardl 381 times so so it is it is running for each quantile of independent against each quantile of dependent so if you can see the data there is variables and data is here so it is 361 times so let's close it up and now we'll have to add the identifier for the loop so we can come here and add identifier for independent variables independent and multiplied variable and the long run effect variable so so multiplier variable not found so it has capital M, so we use capital M, capital M here. So when you run it, you generate the variable. Now, uh, if you keep, use the coefficient of lag of independent variable as it is, it is called multiply, not the long run effect, because you have to transform it first. So we can plot the multiplier effect, and it is mostly uh, above zero. Only few cases where few region where it is negative. Okay, so this is the effect of um, uh, stock market on X and on stock market of Y, and it's a multiplier. So it will tell you the effect uh, effect within time. Now then we can go towards the adjustment coefficient. So it is telling us that the the blue uh, light blue and the dark blue region are mostly where there is negative adjustment and there where there is convergence. So at high values of y variable the the independent variable is not uh, converging so there is no um, no long run effect so this can also tell you that if if you people are using simple quantile or quantile and the variables are non-stationary most of the results were not valid then we can go towards creating a long run variable it is multiplied divided by adjustment coefficient now you can see that uh, the effects are here so most of them are between 0 and minus 500 so negative effects and then and few instances there is positive and then there are few extreme coefficients the, the extreme coefficients are because of very small values of 
uh, adjustment coefficient. So this way you can do quantile and quantile using quantile ARDL. So do try this model uh, on your uh, on your studies and have a look how the outcome comes and do do share your views in the comments. Thank you very much.